Hey kids, welcome to lesson 15, Processing Arrays, General Search. In order to make a general search function, we should be able to search for any value, not just five. We can do this by making the value to search for a parameter as well. We have a do this, add a second parameter to your search function to represent the item to search for. This example uses the name search value. I think we're gonna use the same name just to keep it consistent. Update the code inside the function to check for the search value instead of five. Call your search function to search for different values inside of each array. The console.log statement is now accurate. Change it to say array has a search value followed by the value in flag. We have some steps below here in our animation. It looks like we are adding a, another parameter to our search function. The first was list. The second is search value. Looks like we're changing the five to search value. And in console.log, we are changing it to search value plus. What are we gonna do with this search value? Well, since it's another parameter, we can call to it. It looks like we're gonna search for the numbers three, five, and eight. That doesn't sound too bad, and I think we can do that. What's the first thing we have to do? First thing we have to do is add a parameter to our function. Let's take a look at our code here first. We have three variables, no fives, one five, and test array. No fives have a bunch of numbers that are not five. One five has a bunch of numbers, one that is five, and test array, it is empty. We have a loop right here that's gonna run 10 times. It's going to add a random number between zero and 10 into test array. We have a console.log statement, original, and then it is displaying test array. We have three calls here to search, no fives, one five, test array. What is it calling to? Well, this function, this function is called search and it has a parameter list. List is the actual array we want to search. What's happening in this function? We have a variable flag that is set to false. It is going to run through each of the test array. If it finds a five, it is going to say true and reassign that variable false to true. Finally, it displays a console.log message. It says array has a five plus flag. And what are we doing in this one? Well, we're adding a second parameter to the search feature. That will be down here. And we're gonna update the code inside the function to check for search value instead of five. Well, the first thing I wanna do is just add this to the function. And I'm just adding search value like the example. And this is just going to be a, another parameter or variable we can use. That means when I add it up here, instead of just searching for fives, I'm going to be able to search for custom numbers. But before I do that, I have to update my code a little. Right now, it is just looking for fives. What I want it to look for is whatever that value is I put in, which should be search value. That means if no fives, I put a three in like their example code up here, then I should get a true in that statement. That's not done yet though. We have to update the console.log statement. What are we updating this to? We wanted to say array has search value plus the flag. So whatever the search value is, it should display it in that console.log statement. We should get one for each of these since this is inside a function. Now that we added something to call to, we actually have to call to it. In our example up here, they used three, five, and eight. Let's do the same thing. Three, five, 
and eight. When I hit run in my no fives, a three, it should say true, because it's actually not no fives, it's just a list of numbers. That'll say true. One five, we're still searching for five, and it absolutely do has a five, so I should also get true. And test array is random, so we don't know what's gonna come up with it. Let's go ahead and hit run and see if that's what happens. True, true, true. My array here, well, we're searching for an eight. It has two eights in it. It is true. All three were true. Let's try to get one without an eight in it to see if it goes false. No eights, false, and the first two are true. Looks like our code is working as it should. Looking back up here to our do this, we added a second parameter to our search function to represent an item search for. We use search value. We updated the code inside the function to check for search value instead of five. We then updated our console.log statement to be more accurate to say the array has a search value instead of five, hard coding it in. And finally, we updated our search function to search for different values in the array instead of five. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the final lesson.